This segment is sponsored by iChiro Clinics and Peak Performance Integrated Medicine. If you suffer with arthritis, you know the pain that can come with that, but do you know why you're experiencing that pain? What exactly is arthritis? Well, the guy who knows is Dr. Michael Quast from iChiro, and he is here now to talk more about it. Hi, Dr. Quast. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I have arthritis, so I understand the joint pain piece of it, but, but what exactly is happening to the body when someone has arthritis? Yeah, so I mean, first there's different kinds, right? There's a whole bunch of different kinds of arthritis, but the general one that we talk about, most people think about is that, uh, you know, just degenerative arthritis, degenerative changes or osteoarthritis. And people think it's just from getting old. And a lot of times we even hear that. I mean, I have people come in regularly. We just had a guy came in, his hip was all giving him fits and the, the doctors wanted to do a surgery on him. He didn't want to do a hip replacement. So he's like, what do you think? And you know, we looked at everything and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty bad. And I asked him, I said, why did you like think you got this arthritis? What did they tell you why you have it? And he goes, well, it's just because I'm old. And I go, well, hold on a second. Your one hip's got it. How's your other hip? And he goes, well, that one's fine. And I'm like, well, why would one hip wear out from arthritis and the other one not? They're the same age. Like, it's not just age or every bone in your body would be worn out exactly the same as the others. And you just don't see that in the joints. So what causes it is actually the muscle compression. So you get muscles that get tight and they'll squeeze down on those joints. When they're squeezing down on the joint, that puts compression into those, those joints and it wears that cartilage excessively fast. And then you let that happen over time and it's gonna wear things out pretty significantly. Aside from a surgery to replace a joint or two or whatever, you know, um, what, what can you do to manage it? Yeah, so obviously the quicker you get on it, the better, because um, we have seen all kinds of problems where, you know, sometimes people wait till it's so bad. There's there aren't a lot of things you can do. But oftentimes, even with bone on bone, there's many, many things you can do to get symptomatic improvement for that patient, especially with the regenerative therapies now where you can actually try to regenerate some of those uh, those tissues that are involved in that. Uh, one of the big ones is just using, you know, therapies to decompress the joint, meaning working the muscles to retrain them. So they're not compressing it anymore. And oftentimes people feel great. We had a guy come in recently and he had both knees completely bone on bone and he was 80 something. So he didn't want to, he didn't want to do the surgery to do a two knee replacements because it's risky. Yeah. So he, he's like, what do I do? And he couldn't, uh, financially, he couldn't afford to do any of the regenerative therapies. Uh, however, he could do some of the stuff that his insurance covered, which was the therapy work. So I told him, I go, Let, just give us six months. We'll work on, we'll work on the therapies. Worst thing is you're going to be moving better, even if your pain doesn't go away. And literally in three months, all of his pain was gone. Wow. Now we didn't, we didn't change the bone on bone of his knees. He still has it but his symptoms are gone. So that tells you that it's not just the bone on bone, it's what's causing the bone on bone, which is that deep muscle is compressing. And as we got that working better, now he's active, he's up, he's doing what he wants to do. Uh, he didn't have to take the risk of you know, having that surgery and he's super excited. And I mean, my opinion is we should always do those safe, natural things first, see how far we can get it. If we can't get it to where it needs to be, uh, you can always go get surgery, that's, you know, that's there. But you want to be able to do the things you want to do. You know, right now it's like starting to get warm out, you know, the sun's shining. It's like, man, I want to get outside. I want to do yard work. I'll play pickleball, get on the golf course. And these, uh, you know, aches and pains in the joints, those need to be addressed if you want to keep doing that and have a, the best quality of life that you can. Mm. Well, that is for sure. Well, folks, if you want more information or to go ahead and book an appointment with the iCairo team, you should call the number you see there on your screen. It's 616-656-1830 or visit iCairoClinics.com. Dr. Quas, thank you so much. Thank you. 